Welcome to the Wasatch Front Living YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about Kaysville, Utah, specifically homes for sale in Kaysville. We'll also just briefly go into some demographics and other cool little tidbits about Kaysville so that you have a general idea of what's what it's like to live there. And then afterwards, we'll jump right into a couple of homes for sale and give you an idea of what you can purchase in the, the mini market of Kaysville, Utah. Just want to say thank you again for joining us here on the Wasatch Front Living YouTube channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any cool content. We do, you know, neighborhood spotlights just like this for Kaysville and other places throughout the Wasatch Front. We also do a market snapshot, which gives you a breakdown of all the statistics and health of the real estate market market here in Utah. Uh, and other videos related to real estate. So if you subscribe to us, you get a notification of any of these videos coming out. And so you can stay updated on everything good about the Utah real estate market. All right, so let's go ahead and highlight a few key pieces of information about Kaysville. So the location is in a pretty great spot, actually. You are smack dab in between Ogden and Salt Lake City. So Salt Lake City is obviously the capital of Utah. It's uh, the major city here in Utah. You'll have professional sports there, a very, very active nightlife, great restaurants, and really anything you could want out of a big city. In Ogden, you still have that big city feel. You'll have that nightlife. You'll have uh, not professional sports, but you'll have collegiate sports out of Weber State, and you'll have great restaurants up there as well. And so you're right in the middle, like I was saying, so it's 20 minutes north to Ogden or 20 minutes south to Salt Lake City. So it's a great location. The average home price in Kaysville is a little bit higher than in other locations. So Kaysville is a pretty desirable place to live. That speaks kind of to the location that we're, I was just highlighting there. Uh, but the average home price in Kaysville is around the low to mid 400s. And what that will get you is around a 2,000 square foot home, some a little bit of land, anywhere from 0.1 up to an acre, and a little bit of an older home as well. So I would say anywhere from the early 80s up into the early 2000s is what you can expect to be able to purchase in that low to mid 400 range. Even a little bit below that 400 range is you know what you can expect to purchase there in Kaysville. Entertainment is really aligned with the location. So the entertainment specifically in Kaysville, you'll have what every other city in Utah has. You'll have your movie theater, you'll have all your little restaurants and you know mini golf and those types of things. Uh, but the really the big boon I think to Kaysville is that you have both the option of Ogden and Salt Lake City. So if you're more into an adult nightlife as far as bars and other things like that, you have both options that way and it's only 20 minutes away. Plus, if you're a big sports guy, you have collegiate sports just to the north and south because you have Weber State in Ogden and the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. And then you also have a professional team in the Salt Lake Bees and the Utah Jazz in Salt Lake City. Okay, so as far as work opportunities located right in Kaysville, you're not going to find as much as far as corporate career jobs. I mean, obviously you'll have your normal things like your dentists and lawyers and other professionals in that regard. So if that's your type of work you're looking for, you could probably easily find a place to set up shop and do something like that in Kaysville. Uh, but as far as working for like a big tech company or any kind of other corporate structure, you're going to be looking more towards Ogden and Salt Lake, which again speaks to the location. You're just 20 minutes commute to either of those places where you can find more jobs like that. So what's good about Kaysville is that you are really close. So the commute to having a job like that and then getting out of that big city feel and into the more suburbs of a town to live and get a break from you know the rush of having a job like that is what's so convenient about living in Kaysville. All right, we'll just quickly run over the demographic. So as you look, as you look at this graph and chart here, you're gonna see that almost 100% of Kaysville is made up of the white or Caucasian ethnicity. Uh, there's a tiny bit of mix of the other ethnicities, 
but predominantly it is a white slash Caucasian area to live in. I think you're going to find that in a lot of places in Utah with the exception of a few cities, but Utah is definitely, uh, there's a lot of white slash Caucasian people that live here. It's trending, you know, a little bit more of a mix as we work into the future, but that's going to be a large majority of the makeup wherever you head in Utah. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at some available homes here in Kaysville, Utah. But first, let's zoom out a tiny bit just to kind of get a feel um, for where Kaysville is. So, if you take a look. Kaysville is located right pretty much smack in the middle of Salt Lake City to the south and Ogden to the north. So Ogden is a pretty major city here in Utah and obviously Salt Lake City being the capital, big time city here in Utah. So it's kind of a convenient location. You have access to the mountains, outdoor activities are there. You can go north to catch some college action and some nightlife or you can head south to catch a jazz game or additional nightlife and really good restaurants down in Salt Lake City. So it's a good place as far as commute uh, if you have a job in either of those cities. And but you know, you can escape the big city and live in the suburbs while still being pretty, pretty dang close. So, with that said, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a few of these houses. Last video, we looked at all the houses, but today we're just going to look at about four or five houses just uh, in varying price ranges. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the first price range. We're going to be at the 379 price range. Um, I actually took a client through this house, it's a newly uh, updated home so they came in and did some renovations all new flooring uh, they updated the cabinetry and appliances so it's really well done it has an unfinished basement so there's a possibility of making it more of your own putting a personal touch on it but in this price range of the, the high threes to mid fours what you're gonna be talking about is an older home so 1988 is when this one was built so I could say you can get in maybe into the the early 2000s, um, but definitely anywhere from the 70s to the early 2000s as far as this price range goes. And you can see acreage anywhere from 0.1, you know, or even less, but typically 0.1 all the way up to 0.33 on the acreage as far as this price range goes in the age of the home. Two car garage is pretty normal around here. Um, so, I mean, at this price range, you're going to get a pretty decent starter home. And, you know, nothing to really scoff at. So it's a pretty decent home. Next up is in, we're going to jump up just a little bit to the 500s. Uh, this is about mid fives. This is going to be new construction. So um, people love getting into new construction. And these are currently under construction. So, um, you know, we're going to probably be four to eight months out from completion with these. Based on the pictures, it's more like eight months out. But you're going to be starting in that 540 range. Something to always keep in mind with new construction is they'll say, hey, you know, home starting at this range. And what that means is that's the very base of what you can buy. Most of the time, people will do upgrades anywhere from 15 to 30 grand in upgrades uh, just to kind of get the look and feel of the home that they want. So you can expect this price point to go up a little bit, but it is um, a good starting point for new construction in the area. What you'll be getting with this type of new construction is a 2,000 square foot home, 0.11 acre lot, obviously brand new, two car garage, and in a pretty great location. Next up, we're jumping into just about the $700,000 range. Uh, this is new construction as well, just completed this last April. What you're getting here is a third of an acre lot, which is pretty big in today's standards. You're getting about 2,700 square feet. There is no basement with this, so this is 100% finished square footage. So you don't have to worry about coming in and having to do any more construction in that way. Um, it's a pretty high price point for the amount of square footage, but what you're getting is very, very high-end finishes. If you look on the exterior, you know, you're not seeing any stucco. You have the, the brick, the stone, and the hardy board or wood here on the outside and you have the varying colors and shapes of the home. So those are all signs of a high-end high, high end finished home. If we go in, take a look, you're getting wood floors, again, stone. You're gonna have different paint colors on the walls. You have that steel railing there. And if you go into the kitchen, very nice cabinetry, 
You have the quartz countertops and nice appliances. So these are just a few things that we can talk about as we go through the house here. Uh, double vanity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All these things are very high-end finishes, and that's what justifies that price point. At the, I mean, they've dropped the price. Let's see, about 15 grand here, but we're still just about at that seven range. Next up, we're getting into the million-dollar homes uh, here in Kaysville. We're over here, getting near to the east side of Kaysville, so I'm going to hop over back to the map. We're right here in that Kaysville, uh, still in that Kaysville area, but appro approaching the east bench, so into the mountains there. Always throughout the Wasatch Front, the closer you get to the mountains, the higher the um, property is, you know, higher price tag that property carries. If we look at the map, right here in this neighborhood, there's a bunch of high price dollar homes. So, I mean, right next door to each other, 780,000 and 1.1 million. So telling yourself, hey, this is a little bit of a nicer neighborhood. So let's jump back over. So price point is 1.15. It's been on the market for, it looks like it was under contract for at least a little while. It fell through. And uh, like we were talking about in that last video, with price points like this, you're going to see much higher days on market. But the year built was 1998. You're getting a quarter acre here, three-car garage. Basement's practically all the way finished, but a total of 7,200 square feet. It's a very big home. Obviously, at the price point, you can look at the finishes. You have different roof lines and stone on the outside of the home. So very nice home, big windows. Um, so those are all things to be expected in this price point. You're going to go in. You can be very custom, very nice, very, very nice home. So million-dollar homes throughout the valley. You know, unless you get into the Park City or the Alpine areas, maybe even Cedar Hills, um, you know, these are the type of homes you can expect to find. So there's not going to be a lot of variance in million dollar homes throughout the Wasatch Front unless you get into the super east bench or into the Park City, Midway, Alpine area. Those That's when you start seeing some pretty dang spectacular homes. So as far as Kaysville goes, this is a wonderful home. And if you can afford this, this is an awesome home. Uh, to snag up. All right, last home we're going to look at. This is the most expensive home in the area. So, of course, we're going to take a look. It's located down here at the southern edge of Kaysville. So, it's at 1.9. 1.9, it's dropped to 50 grand. So, it's been on the market for a really long time. What we're getting here is a 2.32 acres of land. So, that's really, really big lot. Built in 2010. So you can expect to see some more modern high-end finishes here. You have a 100% finished basement. So you're sitting at a total of 6822 square feet, uh, footage wise. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few of these pictures. Kind of what we've been talking about with these uh, higher end homes, you're getting varying roof lines. The reason that's more expensive because it's just more labor intensive and it's more skilled labor rather than just a single roof line or anything like that. So you have all these different pitches and roof lines, and that's part of high-end finishes. Really nice driveway with a accessory building. It's like you have a mother-in-law suite over the top of this garage, so that's a possible, I mean, if you have family members staying, they can have their own space, or you can make that an office area. Get lots of pictures of land here, and I mean, we're in the high, over quite a bit over the million dollar range here and so the homes gonna be very custom very nice you know wood floors throughout wood beams as you can see in this picture wood beams you're gonna have vaulted ceilings you're gonna have upgraded lighting throughout etc etc so it's a great home and it's the most expensive home in Kaysville so if you're looking for a two million dollar house in Kaysville that's the one for you right there but that is what's kind of going on in the real estate market in Kaysville. And I hope you can get an idea of what you can purchase within your budget uh, here in Kaysville. So we went anywhere from the 379 range. We jumped up to the $500,000 range, then into the seven to $800,000 range, and then to the, into the nine to million dollar range. And we jumped up to the highest price tag here in Kaysville at that 1.9. So I hope that again, I hope that gives you guys a picture of what you can afford in Kaysville, Utah.
Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to learn a little bit more about homes for sale in Kaysville, Utah. I hope you learned something. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment here in below the video, or you can just reach out to me personally through text, call, or email. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Also, I'm a realtor here in Utah, so if you are looking to buy or sell a home in Kaysville, Utah, or anywhere else in the Wasatch Front, I would absolutely love to help you. Again, you can either comment in the video or you can text, call, or email me to uh, learn a little bit more about how I can help you buy or sell a home here in the Wasatch Front. All right, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.